Okay, here we are with part two of the video and apologies on that. I uh, had to cut part one uh, up a little bit because honestly, I made a mistake and uh, had a bit of a mind block on how to do it. So hopefully we're here on back on board again. So to calculate, we're back at calculating the yellow parts. We know that the radius is half of the diameter. The blue one is the diameter all the way across the circle. The radius is half of that. So we're gonna go two times pi, that's where it's a little bit tricky, times r. So that actually says two pi r. It's the same as two times pi times r. Now how to figure that out, what that actually means is this. Let's actually take this, just toss it up here so we got a little bit more room to work with. Pi, and I think we talked about this earlier in the year, pi is, put it in white here, pi is always three decimal one four. So make sure you remember that, and that probably comes up from your memory from before. So what this is looking like, this, the math question now becomes two times three decimal one four times r. And look back over here, our radius is the red one, the radius is two, so we just put a two over here. And that's it, so two times 3.14, let's pretend this is our worksheet, two times 3.14, I'd set it up like this, three decimal one four times two. You could just also add three decimal one four plus itself, but it's better to multiply it so you know how to do this. Four times two is eight, two times two is, or one times two is two, Three times two is six, and there's two numbers after the decimal. So now you've got six decimal two eight. I'm just gonna rewrite this up here, six decimal two eight. Now you still have to multiply it by two. We haven't done that yet, times two. Eight times two is 16. Two times two is four plus one is five. Six times two is 12. Two numbers after the decimal, count back. And your answer for this, the circumference for this one would be 12, whoops, let's make it in the correct color here so it matches 12 decimal five, six centimeters. And the math behind that is if you took a piece of string or counted somehow magically while turning a corner and went all the way around this circle, if I give you the information that the radius here is two centimeters, you can do the math and find out that the whole distance around the circle is 12 decimal five, six centimeters. So the key is this part up here. Take, the formula is two times pi, which is three decimal one four, times whatever the radius is. So this part will stay the same in the questions coming up here in a second. This part, you just multiply it by the radius, that's it. And I'm just gonna give, I think, two questions today to get going in this on the next question, good job.